Captain America Civil War is the 13th movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In this film, Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, leads a newly formed team of Avengers in their continued efforts to safeguard humanity, but after another incident involving the Avengers results in collateral damage in Lagos, political pressure mounts to instill a system of accountability headed by the UN to oversee and direct the team. The new status quo fractures the Avengers, resulting in two camps. One is led by Steve Rogers, Captain America, and his desire for the Avengers to remain free and defend humanity without government inter interference. The other following Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, who surprisingly supports the decision uh, for the government to oversee and be accountable to the UN. In my mind, Captain America Civil War is among the best comic book movies of all time. Some people are calling this film Avengers 2.5, and yeah, several of our favorite Avengers characters are in it. But at its heart, this movie is about Captain America and his struggles and the differences that he has with his friends. Uh, the conflict between the two sides is very believable, very natural. There is no right or wrong. It's just a matter of where your ideologies lie. You know, do you want big government oversight or would you have freedom? Which is kind of an interesting uh, parallel to what's going on you know, here in the U.S. today and around the world. Uh, it's really difficult not to compare this movie with the disappointment <laughs> that was Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Both movies uh, feature two superheroes or two teams of superheroes who have their differences and they collide and do battle with each other. But this movie is a better film in almost every single way. Um, I mentioned the conflict between the two sides and it really feels more real, more natural, much more believable than the forced and almost questionable conflict that Batman and Superman had in their movie. Uh, there's also the aspect of dealing with a whole multitude of characters and setting up the respective cinematic universe, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the new DC Cinematic Universe, and setting up future films within those franchises. Again, I feel this film succeeds where Batman vs. Superman kind of fell short. Um, all the characters are handled wonderfully, and the introduction of two new superheroes that we haven't seen before, Spider-Man and Black Panther, handled very well without the need to go into separate origin stories for them. Um, again, guys, this movie is fantastic, and it, I said in my written review that it could very well overtake Captain America Winter Soldier as my favorite Mar Marvel Cinematic Universe movie on subsequent viewings. I just saw it a second time today, and yeah, I think this really is my favorite movie. It may not be the best movie in the MCU, but right now it's my favorite. And I think part of the reason is because we've had you know, 12 previous movies to get invested in these characters, and you, know, you get to know them, know their motivations for each other, you've seen the growth, and the friendships that develop, and it's really it's kind of sad and yet very believable that these two sides, these two factions, would come to blows over their differences. The, the, bottom line, this movie is a great kickoff to what is shaping up to be a fantastic summer blockbuster movie season. Uh, and as usual, there's be sure to stick around until the end of the credits for two po or one mid credit scene and one post credit scene, you know, as is typical with the Marvel movies. Overall, I give Captain America Civil War an easy 4.5 out of 5. It's a great movie, like I said, it's probably not my, my favorite entry in the MCU, and I'm really excited to see what the future of this franchise holds. Guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you for your support. All the comments and private messages on Facebook and emails that I've been getting are fantastic. You guys rock, and I will see you next time, probably tomorrow, with another review. See you later. Bye-bye.